Well, hey there, folks. Barry's best honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to Southeast Louisiana. Back to my little bee yard. All right, there, folks. I am walking out here. I got some inspections to do. Um, just trying to keep ahead of swarming. Big time, big time swarming this time of year. So. It's hard to do, and I'll tell you more about that, but I'm going to put a queen cell in one of these nukes I pulled off of some colonies, a colony yesterday. So let's take a look real quick, see if we can get a cell in here. I'm going to graft it some cells and got a dozen or so, and uh, I'm going to load them up with a cell. Because I already had a cell protector using it to stand up in the incubator, I went ahead and just left it on there. Most of the foragers should be gone. They came from right over there, but let's go ahead and... It should be a good amount of bees. I, I, I popped them pretty good, just like I did in that one video where I took some numbers away. It's a beautiful day. The temps are in the 60s, low 60s, so I do want to keep this cell a little bit warm. Um, be careful with it. Well, look at them come out of there. It's a pile of bees. I shook some bees now. But what I'll do is I'll let them see how well they do as far as the queen goes. And I'll sell it. One thing I don't like about these pro nukes is uh, the outside frames, once you slide them past that little stop, they don't like to go far in the bottom. There's like notches down there that hold them up. So we're gonna. A nice frame of brood right there. Let's sit this down. It should already started making cups, I'd imagine. I'm gonna put it on this next one, right on the inside. So we'll pull it out, right? Boy, they're full. We'll stick it right here. I'm going to stick this cell right about here. I like putting it down in the brew, just like it's their cell they made. And we'll put it in here. There we go. These cells are about four or five days. should be four or five days from emerging. They're kind of early. Um, which is... I read an article on putting cells in early, early, early. This is an article I read years ago. and There's some proponents and some people that say no. But these aren't terribly early. The article I read was putting them in like ten days out. Alright. That'll be good. A few things I don't like about the Pro Nukes, I like the portability of them. I like that they got different colors and I, got, I can kind of use that as a way for orientation for the new queens, but about the only thing is, is they don't close good, they'll squish bees if you're not careful. And that notch in the bottom. Alright. Waiting for queens on those two little nukes. That 10 frame has got a queen. That was a, another colony that wanted to swarm, so I pulled her down off of that colony. Left them to make cells. They're, they're a colony that was already split this season. Okay, this is how long our season can be. This colony here, this, this one here, I pulled them in a five frame, and I'll have to, of course, I had to put them in a 10 frame. The colony was in a double deep. It was one of the splits I made, and I had to split on top. I went in to check, and it was full both the split and that one, and this one had built swarm cells. It started building swarm cells. So what I did was I went ahead and yanked the queen, found her, pulled her out, pulled five frames out, took some bees. Of course, the foragers went back next door, and I put her in here. Left the split on top, figuring, well, I can just recombine real quick, and that'll be easy enough. And then I've got the queen. I can make a production out of this, too. I never did go back and do that. I actually harvested cells out of it. But, I'm afraid it's been a long time now. They're liable to go ahead and have swarmed by now. So, who knows? I'm going to look at them today. That's one of the things I'm doing is pulling my splits off the tops of the colonies. And putting them in their new locations. Let's do look in here real quick. I wonder if, uh, if they're... I, I need to give them some drawing comb, I imagine. I wonder if she doing anything with... If they're drawing out any comb yet. Let's see. Nah, they're not touching it yet. 
Let's see what they're doing here, though. I don't have my glasses, but I don't see them filling it up with nectar, so. Yeah, they still got plenty of open space. Anyway, that's what this one was all about. It's got a lot of stuff spread out right now. This is a nuke you and I pulled off in that video. They're a little rowdy. But remember how many bees it looked like? It don't look like as many now. I mean, it's a lot of bees in a nuke, don't get me wrong, but they're nice and calm. They're not roaring, so they got cells. I know I gave them a swarm cell. But I'm gonna leave them alone. I'm not gonna mess with them. Just wanna see what the numbers look like. So I'll be selling these nukes mostly. I'll keep one or two around for a resource, but I got enough other small ones or resources. Let me tell you what I'm doing today. Let's... We can discuss my predicament. So the predicament is as follows. We start cranking up around February, right? You can hear me talk about pulling nukes, trying to do swarm control. Swarm control for us is like two months, a month and a half at least. Until we get a good flow and we can get them to move up into the super suit. I can add space to them, but if they're looking for brood, they got this little trickle of nectar that's stimulating the brood production. Brood production is going like crazy. For whatever reason, the queen doesn't seem to like to come out of them double deep. She's comfortable in those two deeps. She doesn't want to come up in the supers. And we'll have all the space in the world, but they're not looking to put nectar up there and she won't move up. We tend to have swarming problems. It goes on and it's a constant battle. All kinds of different ways to do it. You've seen them so far. I split and then the splits can swarm. I have been basically each week going in and checking for cells. So all I can do is check to see where they're at and if they're using the space I'm giving them. The splits, they're growing really fast, really well. I do want to say that I said that all but one, I think in, I don't know if I have that video out yet or not, but all but one cell took, actually all cells took. Um, every one of the splits that I put cells in has a queen, uh, a lane queen, that's good. And it brings me back to what I was doing yesterday. I was running around doing swarm control. And I went to shoot a video yesterday and I was all over the place, just in a hurry. It was after work, I had a lot to do, didn't finish, gotta do it today. Just running crazy trying to get it done. And the video was just, it was just bits and pieces all over. It was, it's, it's, I might be able to salvage something and edit something, but it, it wasn't that good. So I decided today, to go ahead and shoot a video and just give you a walk and talk and show you what I'm doing and show you a few colonies. Um, Cause yesterday's was just, it was, you think other videos were chaotic. This was chaotic because in my mind, I knew what I was wanting to do and I just needed to get it done. And uh, it had been tough to explain it. And if you'd have just seen it without me explaining it, you'd have wondered, what is this guy doing? So let's go look and I'll show you a couple of things we did. And then we're going to get into some bees and then I'm going to really roll with it and uh, get busy. But I'm going to show you, I did have a swarm and uh, I don't know if it's still up in that tree. It's way up high. Nothing I could do with it. So we're gonna go take a look see if it's still there and I'm gonna show you what I was looking at yesterday so guys as we walk out here this stand here it's just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff the two nukes that are doing good uh, the 10 frame is a split from over in uh in town and then that nuke is a nuke I pulled off of one number 20 to calm it down from swarming uh, a couple weeks ago but here's the deal I came out yesterday I was over by the bar and I heard the roar of a swarm like oh my goodness man that's loud I come out here and all up in here there's bees but they're not going anywhere they're all coming down and going to that box practice swarm you say mm hmm I don't know usurp swarm I don't know here's what that box was it was a queenless split I know it was queenless I actually found the queen put her in a cage shook the bees and put frames in that box made the split I think actually I did it on video for y'all let the queen back in the box in town this one was already on a board and away from it, and there was no queen. What I did about a week later was went in, maybe six days later, and I put a swarm cell in it I found in another colony. I'll tell you about where I got that from. But I put it in there saying, okay, well, let's just make sure they've got a cell. I know they're probably making emergency cells. I didn't have any grafted at the time. So I go in there and see this swarm moving back in. Practice swarm? I don't know. Bottom line is they had no queen. No queen. 
go in there and there's a bunch of bees in there and there are two open cells that they made one is on the frame and one looks like a swarm cell hanging off the bottom it can't be queens are present when swarm cells are made they're planned cells those in supersedures emergencies or not so one looked like a long emergency and one was a swarm cell after further inspection i believe i saw where she probably had some eggs down on the bottom that may not have been drawn eggs both of those cells were emerged the one i put in was no wasn't popped open yet so it tells me two queens emerged and there are no eggs in there there's still there's no brood left because it's all emerged out so that's probably where the numbers came from but they just took off and went in the sky and came back down or something happened to the previous split in the last two and a half weeks and we had a usurp a usurpation usurp a swarm that usurped this colony <laughs> so i don't know i don't know it's full of bees i'll go back and check it this afternoon before i go in but that was strange so there was one cell left but again that's the one i put in they made their own uh she should be on mating flights bring them pollen they're acting like they're living here all's well i mean look it's a split that had plenty of space open laying space brood coming out no queen yet nothing and i'm not saying a split won't swarm with a virgin i've seen that happen i had it happen in a video and even one of the viewers told me it happened to them i've seen it happen it's happened but it's just very unusual for them to go back in like that and practice a swarm with a virgin i don't know it didn't make any sense another baffling discovery in the bee yard that i've never seen uh happen in that particular order that nuke's doing good this one here that's where we just put that queen cell i pulled off i left some space which i shouldn't have but i want you to know that i put peppermint in this two weeks running and i had about 40 or 50 beetles when i popped the lid normally and this time i had maybe 10 or 15 it's definitely repelling them where they're going i don't know the traps weren't a whole lot more full but i gotta say they were down but now i'm out of out of the darn mints because i eat for every two i put in i eat one so as we continue on i look in the trees always i gotta watch because it's copperhead season and i'm looking in the trees one day I almost stepped right on a copperhead so i look down then i look up and i look down and i look up let's see if it's warm it's still here yep it's still there now I got a swarm. I do want you to know, I told you about the one over there that I left swarm cells in uh, and simulated the swarm by taking the queens. And they shouldn't have swarmed. They should still be there. But one over here was the issue I told you about where I had a queen trapped above an excluder and they were building swarm cells on the bottom. She's apparently still there because I went in after I saw that swarm. And she's made swarm cells on the top, but they're capped. So did she get run down small enough to fit through an excluder? So there's a chance the swarm I'm going to show you could be from them. There were two colonies out here I knew could possibly swarm, and I'd let them. And that was that one I told you about, and this one over here that's just got a terrible swarming tendency. And I think they may have already swarmed, and that might be them. But they had no cells left. I had taken out the cells, and I'm pretty sure she wasn't gone yet, but who knows. So I don't know, but... I definitely expected to see a swarm out here any day now from those one of those two, but uh, I hope it wasn't from another one. If it was, I, don't know, I missed it. But I'm in them about every six to seven days, so I usually can tell who's swarming on me and who's not by looking at the um, you know the cell development and the population and all that. I can usually tell if they've gotten away or if they're about to. I can normally tell when I've lost the battle, and trust me, I lose the battle. But everybody is working hard. I got a pollen trap on this one over here. So yeah, so anyway, that's my one with the excluder. And it's got cells in it. I also was harvesting cells from that because I hadn't grafted yet and I needed to pull nukes. I knew I did and I'd rather have cells in them if I can. It's just faster. Maybe by four or five days depending on the cells or if I graft by about two weeks. So if I can plant it. So what else did I did? I added supers to everything. I gave them space. I crushed cells and added supers. That's the only one that I added supers to that those bees have abstained from building cells. Now I don't know what's going on in town, but that's how it works. And anytime I pull a nuke, obviously I've replaced the frames with drawn so I can have space. But I mean, so my splits, I did take my splits down, except for these over here. We got to take those down today and that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to take those off and see how the bottoms are. 
because here's your double screen and here's your colony in the back here's your double deeps one of these right over here was in that same configuration number six on the very end here and it oh i gotta pull uh entrance juices today too but this one literally had the the double and then the board on top this thing and one next door was already preparing to swarm again so here's what i did i took off the single that had the new queen in it brand new queen i dropped her down to the bottom board in the original location put a second deep bomb with space cracked the back for all the returning workers from this particular you know you can see them where they're going they're looking for the entrance from the split time and then took the double deep original and put a super on it and stuck it there i basically took all her foragers away made sure she had no cells in there moved her over and now the foragers are over here kind of sketchy to do that because that's a brand new queen just started laying about a week ago but hopefully they accept her because she's already established i came up with that space because that's where that mysterious video from way back where i found that queenless colony that had cells in it and they had built those cells i said looked like they came off a drone comb yeah those cells were duds so that's probably what happened they weren't swarm cells they didn't swarm they that was the queen i lost at the very beginning of the season and they never requeened because they just couldn't so i combined them just slapped them on top and yes i do use newspaper and yes i know you don't have to but i do and i still will and i always will as long as you can get it it's getting hard to get so that's a split it's a production with space that's a split with a brand new queen should be production everybody should be set right now that's kind of a walk through the bee yard in a nutshell and where we're at there's space being added there's swarms trying to happen there's swarms that have happened did i show you that i didn't show you that now this is the gopro it doesn't zoom but you can see it up there it's not a huge swarm that's why i'm wondering whether it came from number 16. it's very it's it's i guess it is kind of big it's not quite a soccer ball so yeah it's probably decent size i'd say it's a couple pounds maybe a pound it's not tiny it's not huge so where did it come from well, i don't know i don't sweat it too much guys i mean i do i don't want my productions to swarm but in the end you do what you can do and then sometimes it just doesn't work let me go pull these splits off and then we'll wrap it up just want to let you know what's going on and the things i'm doing it's a lot of work <laughs> keeps me young i don't know i don't feel like it let's take a look at us our, our cloak board this is our queen rearing colony queen right queen rearing i'm gonna recombine it if it hadn't swarmed um i left it configured for quite a while like this to where uh the queen is always in the bottom A lot of burr comb from being in this hole, but I think it's time to get her back configured and probably supered up. Matter of fact, I'll mark this one for a super or two. I got you guys right there. Right there. At the entrance. I probably need to move you. I'll make sure my queen ain't on here. I don't see her. We, we raised, uh, I guess I probably raised a couple dozen queens out of this. I'm happy. Well, they're not all raised yet because they're in the incubator, but I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to reverse it back, get it all set back up, and get them going back in front. They're probably swarm now. <laughs> Let's see. What we look like. I don't see any queen cells. They don't seem mad, they're just looking for their entrance. Look at them all. Look at them all. Think that ain't a strong colony? Probably be split. They're gonna all go over here to this weak one now. Mark this one for a super. How do you do that, Mike? I'll tell you how. Stand the brick straight up, saying, Go up. 
my son's off. Let me show you how I pull these off of there. These splits. So I did see eggs in this a ways back. Uh, about a week ago I saw two or three eggs, but now I'm seeing fresh larvae. You can't see it. Um, but there's fresh larvae and eggs. I don't think you'll be able to see it because I'm in the shadows. But anyway, fresh larvae and eggs. I'd only seen a few eggs in it last time, so I need to make sure they are that she is laying before I move her. Make sure I got a viable colony to move. Because she's gonna lose her workforce because they're used to coming to the back of that colony with that rear entrance is. We're getting ready to fix that. That's right, I got a few telescoping covers. Three. Now I want to check it and see, should I move her? Or should I leave the, and leave the new queen there and feed her a bunch of bees because she's small? Because she's small. And she'll be pushing it to get to production size. She will, but it'll be on the edge. Or is this one light enough where we don't have to worry about it swarming soon because what I don't want to do is create more swarm prevention method measures uh, but they got a pretty full colony so that's what I did with one yesterday I noticed it was just full well no I say it's they're not drawing anything but they're drawing that out I think let's look but I'd seen one that was blowing up and I had to move her she'd be trying to swarm on me within a week and she'll be fine she's got tons of brood see what we got first thing I always like to do as you guys well know is I do like to it feels light I like to look in the bottom I see drone we broke the drone cone oh about knocked you and that hive over and we're clear on the bottom we're clear had some drone comb no cells nothing you can see he's only about middle section of the bees uh, we're gonna see if they've drawn this frame any uh, but we're good on this one this is a good one this one will grow if I can leave the queen that's performing well in the same spot, I like that. So I'm not even going to look in the bottom. I'm going to see what she's doing in the top and I'm going to leave her alone. I know she's good to check until next week. Week at a time. That's all I do. Week at a time. Let's see what they're doing. This is acorn. I want to try that premiere I was talking about on the live chat. This acorn is coming on out. She's drawing it out. She is. They are. But I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six frames. Yeah, we could super them. Drawing this one out real nice. And slap full of eggs. Slap full of egg. And the other side's the same way. So there you go, it's a successful split. We have stopped the swarming urge for now. We'll put them back together as far as we need to go. We got two queens instead of one now. We got two colonies instead of one. And they're drawing comb. It can use a super. And here's what I'm gonna do to fix the bees coming back to that rear entrance. So now I move out of the way and everybody comes back. These are the bees that were coming from the top split. And that is a drawback to this. You lose those bees, so you set them back even more. Uh, normally I would move the splits a little bit sooner uh, where I wouldn't have as many. But the reason I did it like that this time was I wanted to keep the original queen in that location and have the option of moving the new one down. And I also wanted to do the vertical splits for the cold. And so when I did all that, 
I had to leave it on for a little while. And once I left it on there, why I'm putting cells in, so within two or three days, she's out. I couldn't just move her. I might lose her GPS on the mating flight or something. So I left the entrances to the rear like that so I could get some good mating flights. They would identify the colonies better that way. And if I moved them halfway through while she's doing her mating flights, I might really messed up really bad. So that's kind of why they stayed on a little bit later this time. When I used to do vertical splits that were walkaways, I always moved the queen to the top. That way the new queen would go to the bottom and I could move her anytime. So a little drawbacks here and there, but it worked. It's going to put me a little further behind than I was. But here's an old cup. I'll just stick this in here. Just a little something to usually just stick a stick or something in here. There, I've just made them a small gap. Well, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and get busy doing all this stuff I gotta do. All my heavy hitters are pretty much checked now, except for one here. So, gonna go through them, get all some stuff done, get the other split moved, and go into town. Then I'm gonna call it a day. Well, look, it's just an average day in the bee yard, which is super busy down here in the deep south. Not as deep as Key West, guys, that are watching down there, but not as far north as Memphis, Tennessee. Hey, you guys are all in different regions. Everybody up north starting to get into their colonies, I noticed. Good stuff, man. We're getting into the season. Of course, we're <laughs> supering already, but, uh, you know, it won't be long. You guys will be it uh, knee-deep in them, and I, I can't wait to hear from you all on how your bees are doing. I do appreciate all y'all's support. I appreciate everybody watching. Very best, honey. I'm Mike, and I am doing bees every single day that I can. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon, and may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.